Warning, this episode contains material that may be disturbing to some viewers, including blood, gore, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> w wait, wait, where are we? Th the question isn't where are we, it's when are we? Oh, well we know that. It's Wednesday night and uh, you're, you're watching, watching Split, Split Screen. screen. fantasy game. Uh, accompanying us on this quest is none other than Finn John, media professor, Oregon historian, and the voice behind the Offbeat Oregon podcast series. Uh, thanks for joining us. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? Maybe tell us about the Offbeat Oregon podcast series. Yeah, Offbeat Oregon is my first, um, my first foray, I guess you could say, into new media starting in like 2008. Um, it's, a, it's just basically a weekly newspaper column slash podcast thing that um, just looks for weird stories from around the state of Oregon. Well, that's certainly lots fun. There's some very strange stories out there. I've listened to several of your episodes, and they're always very strange, but also very satisfying to hear about. <laughs> uh, in the spirit of fantasy games, old and new, we have two games for you tonight. The first being the text-based classic, Dungeons of Daggeroth. Originally released in 1982 for the TRS-80 color computer, this game was one of the first real-time, first-person perspective role-playing video games ever created. Eight kilobytes may seem like a small size for a game, but it set the standard for an entire generation of fantasy entertainment. So uh, let's jump on in now and crawl some dungeons. All right, let's go. Take us in, Finn. All right. Ganondorf can't stop us this time. It's Ganondorf? A, it's Ganondorf. A, it's <laughs> that, that guy right there, you bet. Uh, it's, uh, it's a surprisingly... Um, it's okay. Yeah, it's not the most exciting game to watch. Um, it's certainly different than anything we've okay. been playing on the show, though. So we enter into this dungeon that is designed entirely out of little tiny white lines and dots. And all of your actions are based on an input system into the keyboard in your computer that Finn is controlling right now. There we go, yes. It'd be the snake. The snakes have arms. Apparently the snakes have arms. They're really I don't know what they're the wielding snake, arms These are some for. talented snakes. Indeed. I wish I had um, arms. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to ignore now, that. I sing now of the arms and of the snake. Okay. Um, let's see if I can find something more interesting than... So the way we move through the dungeon is by Finn typing the letter M, which is an abbreviation command for move. And M by itself is just moving forward. T stands for turn, and R stands for right, L stands for left. I'm assuming mm. A is means around. around. Turn around. Yeah. So like reverse where you are. Whee! That sword on the floor there is a wooden sword. I already have a wooden sword, so I don't want it. How do you know? It's uh, be just Because when, before I died, I was here, and, um, <laughs> and I knows. looked at it, and it turned out to be wooden, so. Um, ah, of course. So Finn specifically requested this game because it's one of his favorites. Isn't that right? Ah. Ah. It's my... Oh, there's another one. You there might were so run. many. You might want to run. He can do it. I believe in him. Wow. Look at him. He slew all oh. of them. Look how fast his heart is beating. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I need to make sure that I don't get bitten by a spider or anything like that. That's a good <laughs> plan. Oh. You're at that point where it just takes someone to come along and just give you that oh, light boy. little flick, flick on the forehead and you're just going to uh. be like, Gosh. Goodbye. And of course, you get a, like an itch in the eye at the of worst course. possible moment. Of course. Now well, I need to try and find, oh there's a spider. There's a spider. Now the cool thing about these, and this is something that I just learned, if you're, if you're good enough you can stand there with a spider because only one monster can attack you at the same time. Um, and the spider can just keep hitting you while you have a little rest. You can have giant stacks of monsters all waiting their turn Perfect. to um, come after you. Are you but tough enough for the salty splatoon? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you how tough I am. I uh, had three midterms this week, and I didn't study for any of them. Oh, let him in, guys. <laughs> mm, I did study. Mom, Dad. <laughs> I'm a good student, yeah, I you, swear. You you better let him know that you uh, did study, because your mom's coming on Thursday, right? For Parents Weekend. Yeah, she's going to be here. She She's very excited, uh, but not as excited as Emmy was that my mother is coming into town tomorrow. We were walking in, I told her that, and she just yelled yes <laughs> in between like the library and the Student Experience yes. Center, and it just like echoed repeatedly. I love Tyler's mom. I love my mom, too. Hi, Lid. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is really irritating because there's um, 
It looks like you're just going through doors just... that lead to more doors, and it yeah. seems like you're just going We're right back. We're walking into Mordor. One does not simply Mordor. walk into Mordor. Mordor. I see what you did ah. there. Finn thinks I'm funny. <laughs> you know, I've never oh. seen those movies. Not once. I've seen Ooh. the first half of the first one. That little squeak, that little, the little um, bloop noise, bloop. that was the blob. blob. The blob, blob is actually a pretty monster fierce names. monster. We should give them nicknames off of old movies. But I really Older need- movies. Like the I, blob can be Flubber. I, I don't love, know if you ever saw yes, that movie. Flubber. There were two versions. There was the- there's the older one, but there was the newer one, I believe, with uh, Robin Williams? Yes. Yes. Uh, I didn't see the old one. I only saw the newer one with Robin Williams. But that was a long time ago. That was maybe fifth grade? I don't want to say because I don't want to I don't want to pretend I I do I'd like to not pretend that time is still moving onward even when okay. I am suffering. We have a snake. Three hits. Now. So we're still at three. Pin is a master. Of okay, this. that um Oh, oh there, there it is. is. My uh, man. Okay, now he's going to kill me because You can do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. Look at his eyes. They're all stuck together. Yeah. Oh. And a snake. And a snake. Oh, you don't want to fight them both. Yeah. Ah, pick your battles. He's got little arms. Kill wow. him. Wow. Okay. Finn's ready. You typed so fast the game could not keep up with you. <laughs> well, one of those attacks missed, so Her. that wasn't your first real good, one. But your first one yeah. missed. All right, For Mister. some reason, it was all like... All right, Flubber, let's go. Let's go, Throw Flubber. Hands. All right, what, up. What, what, what are we gonna nickname the snakes? Um. All right. What's a serpent monster? A serpent monster? Basilisk. Wookie. Basilisk. What? What? Wookie. Wookie. So uh, aside from mine and Tyler's very <clears> clever <throat> naming utilities, uh, what's your history with this game, Ben? Um, well, it was my favorite game when I was a sophomore. And oops. <laughs> ah. <laughs> The part of the problem in. in high school, part of the problem with this stupid game is that it, um, when you're trying to <laughs> use your mouth and your fingers at the same time, strange things can happen. Like fingers coming out of your mouth. Yes. Yes. Like, That's my that, joke. That gets, <laughs> that gets to, um, it's like some Cthulhu action there, right? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, attack left. Let's, the problem with the blob is that it's so tough but slow that, you know, it, it takes like a zillion years to, uh, so we hit it and then we run and then we There's turn a around. There's idea, you. yeah. Come on. So the Come spider, will the spider get gets there first. There he is, and he's gone. Yeah. All right. You just killed the spider in one hit. Yeah. No, they're, they're, they're pretty weak enemy. All right, spiders. We need a name. Um. Spitter. <laughs> no. Wait. Wait. Spitter. Spitter. Oh yeah, that's fine. I thought spitter. you just said spider again, and I was like, why would we name spiders spiders? That's not. That doesn't accomplish anything. Spitter. Oh baby! Oh, oh here yeah. we go. Now that's those are those. It looks like he's doing some sick like dance move like pose he's, like. He's he's like, breaking it down. What up? It's me. Hey, it's your boy coming at you with the hot dance move. I don't know. I think they're. They're they're ogres, right? Uh, ogre? I am so not surviving this encounter. Are those there like are ogres. Is that what that that big thing is? Oh, you missed. Yeah. That's unfortunate. They're ogres. So I, I, may be I, able to do I like this. that we're in like we're using the same kind of tactics you would in a modern Total. game, He's where you around. hit, you run, you hit, you run, and you, right. you're invading the space the same way as you would if it was a 3D space. Here we come. We can do it. Okay. There's a spitter. He's dead. You went through a door. Come on, come on, dude. Yeah, it's yes. going. It's going. Yes. We got this. Hey, hey somebody stop that man. He needs to stop. He's making me a little uncomfortable. Oh, there he is. How does he fit through that door? I don't know. It's like definitely a lot smaller than he is. I, physics. I don't know if physics exists in I this, am not this a physics major. <laughs> let me tell you. I, I am a, I study the human body and I can tell you that his body uh. does not fit through that door. <laughs> The Good. blob seems to have lost interest. I don't know where he went. He decided Maybe he saw the ogre and was like, you I, know, yes. I don't want to deal with that, so... I'm out. You know. So, Dude. like, this was your game as a sophomore in high school, and 
I know for a fact that the the technique of giving done with school, going home, and immediately starting to play video games is the thing that I did. I'm guessing this is the kind of the, the same concept. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Up, oh, get right torch. Um, there we go. We did it. Yay! Where's the ogre? Uh, did we kill him? Yeah, he's toast. <gasps> but oh. I don't know where that blob is. You know he what? He got away. Let him do him. He's he's a he's a strong yeah. spirit. He can do whatever he wants. As I long guess as he it's can. Not mess with us. <laughs> I just heard him though. He make that kind of noise. So you suggested just, this game to us specifically. Uh, is are there any other games you played that are like this in, well, in not, format? Nothing really like this. There was one called Downland that I played, but it actually. Oops. Oh, there he is. We found the man, him. the myth, the legend makes his return this Sunday. No. Um. <laughs> so. This isn't a very How big... How many times have we... Oh, what? what There's are, a snack. There's a snack behind him. He's, they're coming, Who's though. Who's going to get there first? How many times do you think you've hit this blob so far? Um, so many. I think they take about 12 hits. 12. We did oh. it! Oh, nice. Yes. Do we even know where we are Now, in there's the a ring down there, I think. I thought the ring didn't do anything. Um, I wasn't able to... Um, Let's see. There is something Use on the floor. right. Let's turn on the torch. Okay. Get right ring. Um, reveal? Wasn't it was reveal? Reveal. The... Right. Uh, I think it was, oh, E for. Uh, oh, we should kill the spy. Oh, I guess. We don't really need to. It's not. We got it. He did. pretty mellow. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's just basically at this point. We put uh, a ring on it. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Beyonce, hit it's us a, up. It's a, <laughs> Call it's, me. It's pretty cool. I mean, I, I'm, I am astonished at how much they were able to pack into this yeah. with 8,000 bites. Yeah. It's just insane. Also, like, um, the amount of monsters that show up, it's like, it's not like it's taking a long time to process them or anything. It's they're like, just happening there's a snake and a blob, and, you, you know. <laughs> yeah, it can be. Um, Look at this long, ominous corridor. It, when you when you get there, there's there's other kinds of torches that are like magic torches, and you can actually see all the way to the end of the corridor. Ooh. And there's some of the monsters that you literally can't see um, by the light of a pine torch. Interesting. Um, and you'll notice that we're using a wooden sword. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine that takes down all kinds of the monsters. As you can yeah. see, it takes ten hits to to defeat the slug. So um, yeah. Our blob friend. Yes. So, what is exactly the goal of this dungeon crawler? Is there a, is there a chamber we want to get to? Is there a specific boss we want to fight? Yes, you go down three levels, okay. and and um, then you end up fighting the the wizard who's okay. the who's the boss. Oh yeah, the guy who tells you that you died. Right. Perfect. Um, and the wizard, I've never actually been able to defeat. Oh. Um, at least I never was oh, hello, before. Hello, friend. Oh, look There's at a that. Spitter. He's well, come to join us. Yeah, he's fine. He can do. We've got. We've got time. I think now that I've bumped off a couple of those trogs and one of the blobs, I probably have enough. Because you get more strength as you kill monsters. Yeah. Um, so I can probably just sit here and let that spider bite me and bite me and bite me. Spiderman. It doesn't look like my heart rate is going up too much faster. The heart gets goes faster and faster and faster. At a certain point, it's going fast enough that you faint, mm -hmm. and then the monsters, you know can come and, and um, you know, eat you or whatever. Um, you know, the same thing that happens in, like, if you faint in real life. <laughs> I mean, yes. What we monsters are yes. you encountering? The ones in my head. I, I, I'm not... <laughs> I, I win. <laughs> it looks like he's actually um, taking some... Uh, oh, there it is. He's doing a little bit doing, of damage. He's doing the He's thing. doing something. Your heart's increasing very slowly. Well... Well, now it's he's been, <laughs> It's been so I long. feel like his Farewell. I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> uh, I feel like we just uh, smushed his dreams. Yeah, That's believe, okay. I believe we did. You know, when I grow up, <laughs> I want to invent ice cream. What? I just, I, I want to be your number one customer. That's, <laughs> that's, yeah. I already got one. I'm you off to a great start. I Perfect. made that, I made that dream 30 seconds ago. All right. <laughs> if I'm, so. I have no idea where we are in this dungeon. Is there I a way either. to like, mark where we're at at all? There is, but I don't remember what it is. Did this we... is one of those cryptic games where you have to like... Wing it? Yeah. I you mean, have it's... to just try trial, uh, trial and error. Trial and error. So you do things it. and if yeah. they work, um, great. 
Map? No, it doesn't know what a map is. <laughs> um, I tried typing help, which in the original game would bring up a screen where you could like yeah. browse the stuff. But when I did it last time, it brought up like, um, I don't know, some um, character <laughs> from something else. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It's just going to wander around a little bit. Well, while well, you're wandering point, around, uh, we're going to take a quick break now to bring you the weekly news. We know you're all busy with midterms, so here's what you missed in the world of gaming while you were pulling those all-nighters. I know I was, so uh, go ahead and check it out. What's up, everybody? My name is Griffin Tunnell, and I am the news director for Split Screen. This is your gaming news for the week of April 29th, 2017. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite will be released on September 19th. In a new story trailer, we learn that the heroes of the Marvel Universe and the Capcom Universe will be teaming up to defeat a new threat in a new dimension. That threat is a combination of the killer AI Ultron and the Maverick Hunter Sigma. The game seems to be heavily influenced by the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we see Rocket Raccoon in his outfit from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie and the Infinity Stones, those powerful gems that have been popping up in the different Marvel movies. The game seems to focus a lot on teamwork in both its 2v2 gameplay style and its story. Capcom has been working closely with the editors from Marvel Comics to build a world where the franchises coexist, like replacing Iron Man's Jarvis with Dr. Light from Mega Man X. The game will be released on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Moving from Marvel to DC, NeoGAF has struck again, leaking images from the upcoming game, Injustice 2. This time, it is no laughing matter, as these are pictures of the Joker. Joker seems to be sporting a new outfit that is akin to his costume in the Academy Award winning movie, Suicide Squad, mixed with that from the Killing Joke comic line. The hang up in all of this is that the Joker is canonically dead in the series as that was what sparked the events of the first game. We can then assume that this is an alternate world Joker, much like what Netherrealm has decided to do with the Green Arrow. Where Joker fits into the story is yet to be seen, but with villains like Brainiac, Gorilla Grodd, and Atrocitus alongside him, we can expect many jokes when the game arrives on May 16th. Activision has announced that Call of Duty World War II will be released on November 3rd. Developed by Sledgehammer Games, the creators of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the game is set to follow U.S. Army Private Ronald Red Daniels in the European Theater in 1944 and 1945. It will feature locations like the beaches of Normandy and will have scenes from D-Day and the Battle of the Bulge. Activision went on their announcement to talk about multiplayer fun functionality as well. There is some sort of war mode that will spotlight different tasks to complete depending if you're on the Allies or on the Access side. Character classes seen in previous Call of Duty games are now Divisions, and there will be an interactive lobby for Between Games. Finally, Activision teased Nazi zombies for the game Zombie Mode, saying that it delivers a unique storyline that it's an all-new take on Nazi zombies. The game will release on November 3rd, and if you pre-order the game, you will receive access to the closed beta later this year. Nintendo has announced that the new Nintendo 2DS XL will be coming to the U.S. An upgrade from the original Nintendo 2DS, this system will basically be a new Nintendo 3DS without the 3D. Nintendo has decided to go back to the clamshell look for this device, sporting a black and blue color scheme. Nintendo of America president Reggie fils announced this to the press, saying, This new addition to Nintendo's portable hardware line demonstrates our commitment to the handheld market. New Nintendo 2DS XL sports a beautiful clamshell design and offers a great balance between price and performance. The console will cost $150 US dollars and will release on July 28, 2017, only a week after the release of Splatoon 2. And that is all for this week. Thank you for watching. Now let's go back to the studio. Thanks for the update, everyone. Uh, now let's get back to the games and switch gears to a modern classic. Ladies and gentlemen, the game they wouldn't let us play normally, Dark Souls. Finn suggested that we find a modernized challenge for him with dynamic controls, and we couldn't let this opportunity pass us up because Dark Souls was kind of, you know, a dumpster fire. Released in 2011 on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, Dark Souls is the second game in the Souls series and the successor to Demon's Souls. 
This notoriously punishing and intense game has been praised by fans of all kinds as a return to the difficult nature of many early dungeon crawlers, garnering countless awards and over 2.37 million copies sold in its first two years in release. The complete edition we have today was released as the prepare to die edition for a reason, and we're just about to do that. All right, guys, let's, uh, death. <laughs> Prepared to die. All right. All right, let's go. So All right. Finn mm. isn't entirely familiar with the uh, modern Xbox design of the controller. So well, he's... These, these newfangled things are just... I, I can't wrap my head around them. <laughs> so is this, this is your first time using an Xbox 360 controller? Well, um... Yeah. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Perfect. It is his first time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, how do you feel about it so far? Well, it's kind of like the one that came with my TRS-80 color computer back in 1982, only it, it has more of these things. No. Is it joysticks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Joystick. okay. I couldn't see. Your All hand right. was blocking. All right. But I am having fun with the camera. This yeah. is great. The ability to control where you're looking. <laughs> yes. No, I'm just trying to give everybody vertigo. I love it. <laughs> it's great. It's great. All right. That's enough of that. So in Dark <laughs> That's Souls, enough greatness. <laughs> we have managed to get familiar with the controls and have been kind of wandering around the very, very first intro kind of dungeon level. Uh, and it's uh, been it's been an interesting experience, to the say the least. Do you, what'd you say? I think I'm going the wrong way. No, you were going the right way. Oh, all yeah, right. You were correct. It is that, that way. Yep, because yeah. there's that gate to the right. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Sneaky and then look. stairs, step aerobics. Okay. Lots of step aerobics. Lots of step aerobics. Hopefully, Lots of stairs. It's hopefully not, you know, falling. Right. You know, sometimes you gotta fall to get back up. That's You're deeper than a five-gallon bucket of whale <laughs> doo-doo right there. Oh, look at that. And you know what? Uh, hello, friend. And you know what? A five-gallon bucket of whale doo-doo accurately sum sums up my life. <laughs> so. Well that's, done. Let's see if well I can not put. fall down. All right. Falling look, down is, might I add that we look fantastic. This character's face is just beautiful. So, uh, something we didn't touch upon earlier is that you are technically human, but when you die, you lose your humanity. Interesting. You can get it back, but we've lost it because we've died. Same. It's, uh, this is a long to process that's, that's, to get it. It's very you real to... for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello. Right. So remember, there's the two <laughs> melees in the yeah. uh, in the arrow guy. So let's come around here, lock on. So those of you who have played Dark Souls know exactly where we are and what we're doing. But for those of you who don't, we are in an uh, attempt to get to the very first boss and maybe, hopefully, try to beat that boss. Hopefully. All right, you did it. All right, now I get now to dodge the arrows. Serpentine. You can also uh, hold left bumper to raise your shield, just in case. Nice. I like the extra uh, the extra jump stab. The stabbo. Yeah, I did that totally on purpose. Definitely. Hey, I that believe was... it. You know. Okay. I have all of the faith <clears throat> in the world. Here. All right. Okay. Now this is the one where I have to go through this giant wall of 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 of. What annihilation light? here. Yes. <laughs> the wall of annihilation. Indeed. And then hop down on the top of the giant mutant chicken <laughs> and yes. um, hope for the best. Yes. Yep. So let's do this. Let's, uh, in, in, in the, the theme of chicken, okay. let's, let's see. wing it. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, that's the no. right bumper, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so you're waiting for me. Yep. Oh. Oh. Well, apparently. Ooh, that is incredible. That was so. one of the cooler, I went all the way from top to bottom, didn't I? Indeed. So apparently if you stand there too long, he's going to decide, you know what, since you won't come to me, I'm going to come to you. He's a go-getter, that chicken. Uh, that man has his life in order and he knows what he wants, and what he wants is you. And your death. Uh, yes. Well, um, the mission other way. accomplished, I guess. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, you can do it. I've so never this, seen you lose. <laughs> is this game for you at all similar to anything else you've played? Oh, no. No, this is way more complicated than anything that I've... I mean, um, I think the last video game franchise that I kind of started getting into was Mech Warrior 3. 
and I really did enjoy that one. I oh. those are some of the first games I ever played on PC. Actually, it was oh. Mech Warrior. It was very creepy yeah. at age like nine you to know, play those. You know, the soundtrack to that game is one of the coolest. Yes. I mean, yes. I, I, could, I could drive all night with that. It, it, that that soundtrack playing. It makes you feel so like get up and go. Yeah, it's. You know, I think the first game I ever played on the PC was uh, Robot Unicorn Attack, so. <laughs> I excellent. sincerely doubt that. I actually think it was, because really? I was a console gamer basically oh, my entire life. Okay. Yeah, I was one of those dirty console people, you know. <laughs> I find it funny that I started out on PC playing like my dad and my brother's like CD-ROM games. Uh, oh, there they are. About time you guys showed up. Jeez. There you go. Got you, him. You kept Finn waiting and you just, it's rude. They're rude. All right. You should not keep now the let's... nice man waiting. He has done nothing. That's interesting. Did your souls? Huh, cool. So if you die from the giant chicken jumping up and getting you, your souls are right there. So you can go up to them and reclaim your souls. Well, Where? that's nice. Where are the, oh, right here? Yeah, that light. Sweet. Recover lost power. Press <laughs> A. Yay. Dun, 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 dun. Da, da, da. Go me. Okay. I always wanted some so like much. super satisfying sound to play. Hmm? I wanted some super satisfying sound, but there was nothing. Like the Legend of Zelda open chest da, da, sound. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go through. So oh, yes. you gotta look down. You gotta run forward. Press right bumper. Ah, what the hell? <laughs> so I like to press it the second I run off. He's gonna sit on us. Oh, wow. Great. You know, I have some very interesting flashbacks to like. All right, so this is totally not going to be my day. My nana <laughs> sitting on me. You can do it. I've child. never seen you lose. We're so good. I uh, what? I can't see anything. <laughs> I've never seen you lose. Never. <laughs> All right. Sad. Oh, soul spear. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay. Well, um, that'll be sorcery handy. developed by the Big Hat Lagoon. Why do I feel like we got it over our heads with this game? Well. Well, I'm pretty excited about actually knowing where I'm going now on the fifth time through here. <laughs> I, okay, it's to be nice fair, change. I had no idea where we were going in Dungeons and Dragoroth, so. Well, I, I don't think either, anybody so. knows. Yeah, that's There's not real like, like, Does anyone ever know? You kind of like wander around the place until you get to, um, uh, you know, until you get all the monsters bumped off, and then you start looking around for the hole in the floor that you jump through. Oh, perfect. Whoops. So there is a, there, there we go. Ah, splat. <laughs> oh, look at that. Splat. I really, uh, That's where you went in. I like Finn's sound effects better than the game's actual sound effects. Uh, yeah, All we'll right. just mute the game and Finn will like ad lib everything yes. that goes on. <laughs> okay. Like, I love narration of this. Wow, I've got a little complexion problem, don't Yeah, that's I? because you're, uh, you're, you've are you lost your humanity. Oh, well, that's sucks what to be me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> clank, clank, I mean, clank, clank. <laughs> In our third year in college, Tyler, wouldn't you say we resemble the loss of humanity? Well, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> all right. Mm. Stumped him. You know, I I reserve the right to not answer. Hey, why is that guy still dead? Because you didn't die, so the monster didn't respawn. If you'd went in the... Oh, I bumped him off and then fell off the doodad. Okay, so, I got yeah. it. So, uh, yeah. You hit him, defeating him, as you fell off. Yeah, okay. What a way to, Two what birds, a way one to stone. go out. Yeah. All right, so these rude men up here are going to try and give you the old... Uh, they are. Up, up, up. They're going to try to, you know... Look at him giving it to that rock. He yeah. is just, he's not a friendly human. You can do this. Yeah, yep. there it is. They don't look particularly so human, actually. So if you actually. hide behind that wall and you press the blue button, uh -huh. you'll drink one of your flasks and heal yourself. Oh, do I need to do that? Probably. You, you've lost, yeah, a little over half your health, two-thirds of All right, to. well, I'm not gonna, I mean, I got but, uh, five shots, right? There's yeah, no so way I'm gonna can, survive to get to number three, even. All right. I believe. Bring it, chucklehead. Finn's ready. There it Whoops. is. Dead. You got him, you got him. He's dead. Yay. Just All right. Now, there is a... Chicken. Chicken Awaiting on the us. other side of this. Yes. Now, I have to try and figure out how I can actually, like, land on the damn... Or the, the, the chicken. So, I, like, the second I run off, I press the button. Because you'll so, hold okay. it, because yeah. your character... Once That's you... our bumper, and this is our trigger. Oh, In order I'm to triggering. Yeah. Yeah. So, when you jump off, press the bumper, and your character will do a thing. Do the thing. 
You'll land okay. on him, you'll do this little animation, then you'll fall down to the ground. Yeah. You okay. shouldn't take any damage? I don't think so. All right. So but you'll time do to a go, lot to him. Time to go trigger the chicken. <laughs> All right. Dun, 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 dun. There it is, you got him. We did something. So you did 288 damage Yay! to him. Okay, now you can attack him. Go for it. Nice, nice. Oh. Whoops. Well, he retaliated. Um, well, not unprovoked. Because we did the first strike this time. We did, we did. We were the preemptive strikers. Yes. I mean, we're doing better than we have. Oh, uh, baby. Here we go. All right, so uh, heal. Run, okay. run and heal. Run and heal. Blue button. Okay, come on. Let's get out of here. Move, move, stupid. Blue button. Plus, press it. Just press it. Just we do got it. This. Woo! Okay, there we go. We can do this. He's gonna, I have he's gonna jump on. He's gonna fall on you. Run, run away. Run, run away. Run away. Uh, why won't it move? Because you can't move <clears> while you're in attack. All right, go. Get him. Get him. There it is. Get him while he's down. Oh! 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 We did it. We did, we did it. it. Yes! Yes! Whoa, look at that. Total victory. Oh, oh, you oh, defeated. Oh, oh. Nothing. You just defeated. Okay. That's it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Con Congratulations. You got oh, humanity. That was, uh, so if you take that humanity da -da -da -da. back to a bonfire, okay. you can get right. your nice complexion back. Okay. So you can go back through that door that you was locked earlier. Okay. Okay. So, so if you press the green, if you press A. We got this. Um, and I believe it's to your right. All right. Let's see if I can get my camera back into a sort of a sensible spot. Okay. So that uh, green, the little that's green your souls thing. if you want to go get oh, those. Oh, yeah. Look that's at how many souls we have. Wow, that thing gave us a lot. It gave us 2,000. Wow. You recovered. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe I better... Oh, I'm not going to really need it, am I? I think we're going to hit a bonfire right after we go through the door, so yeah. it'll be okay. okay. So, so I think... Turn around. Those doors. Those doors? Those doors. Okay. Oh, these ones over here? I think so. Yep. Okay. Use All those. Right. That one. That you got door the looks key? big and ominous enough. We're good. We can do this. Come on. Hello. Use oh, the big screen. and pilgrim's key. Welcome to split screen where we learn how to open doors. We're good at yes. things. All right. Okay. I mean, yeah. to be fair, so sometimes there should be a bonfire right there. Push. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Well, no, that's not it. No, that's not it's it. It's a message. All right. Well, there should be one like right here. Soon. Somewhere. Anywhere. Maybe at the top of the hill. Step aerobics. Step here aerobics. We go. Yes. Is that it? No. Hmm. Well, oh. we're going into something. Oh, it's a cutscene. Perfect. We get story. Only in the ancient legends it is stated. Good. So I know all about the ancient legends. That one day an undead shall be chosen. Ooh, getting some haptic action here. Oh. Indeed. And we that's have... game. We're, it's over. We Congratulations, you beat Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> The undead asylum. Awesome. Pilgrimage. So there's all kinds of chickens in this game. <laughs> to the land of the <laughs> Look at that burb. <laughs> Look at that. Actually, Look at all you know what? That's a big burb. It's a borb. Borb. It's a borb. It's a big bird. Borb. The yeah. I becomes an O. It's Look at bird. all these chickens. What kind of dog is that? <laughs> it's a very strange dog. I didn't know dogs had wings. <gasps> You're looking at the wrong dogs. You know what? All Look dogs are good dogs. All dogs are good dogs. They're good dogs, Emmy. Good dogs. All right. Here we go. Hmm, oh, there's good. your bonfire. Huh. It's cool. We've been rescued by the big dark chicken. Well. Doing good. Look at there. Look at that. We did something. And Level Lord up. Ran, level up and kindle and bonfires. All right. That is Rest. a really sorry bonfire. <laughs> All right, so wow, you can, can reverse. Level up. Yeah, you can level up. You can reverse your hollowing, which is where you get your humanity back. Okay. But it costs that humanity you got. Okay. And if you die, you lose it again. Okay. Hmm. Until you get another one. Okay. So we should reverse our hollowing with the D-pad. All yeah. right. We can't do that um, yet. Yeah, we can. We got a humanity when we won. Oh. No humanity. What? We got one. Okay, right, well, let's fine. level up then. Let's level up, yeah. We don't need to be human. Humans are overrated. <laughs> Am I right, right, guys? I need a bunch, <laughs> bunch more of this stuff. Wow. Um, there's hmm. a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stats. Kraxkorg is a real a real dumb bunny, it looks like here. Um, intelligence level of nine. It's the only one that's not double digits. We yeah. should fix that. I'd go with health. Health is always nice. Health True. and endurance. 
Because we, we don't need to be smart. We just stab things angrily. I feel like endurance is probably okay. going to be more important given who is controlling. So this we avatar. have two thousand two hundred forty <laughs> souls. Wow. Uh -huh. And if you see required souls, to level that up from ten to eleven is seven hundred forty-one. All right. Well. Now we, I believe we can do multiple level ups at the same time if we have. So if you use right on the directional pad. Yes. It sends it to eleven, and it tells us what it equips. Ah. All right, so we can only do it twice. We don't have enough souls for three. Okay. Or you can just put one into it and one in something else. I thought we put one into that and then. One into vitality. I think that would work. All right. Uh, how do I accept this with the A? A. Well, if you go, okay. Um, yes. Okay. Now go up to vitality. Right. Yeah. Yes. We're doing a thing. We did it. All We're right. Just, woo! <laughs> We're buff and strong. Woo! Or swole. Welcome to the gun show. <laughs> did you know that the sun is not square? The sun is round. <laughs> <laughs> See this? <laughs> oh, I showed you that one. Okay. All right, um, uh, so if we exit. press T. Looks yes. like we're exiting, so we we're can still leave. boringly hanging out around this campfire Let's here. So I was go told, on some adventures. I was told by our benevolent overlord that we can activate the humanity okay. and then reverse a harrowing. How do we do that? So if we press, so if you press start, and you yes. go into inventory, the one you're on. All right. And you go to humanity, down on the directional uh, pad. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. We did things. All right. Try it again. Uh. A. A. Right. Yes. Down. Do 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 do. Yay. That. Okay. Use. Yes. Um. Wow! Look at that. I think now we now can do we activate reverse it. hollowing. Back at the bonfire. Yeah. Oh, all right. So. Oh. Hmm. So you don't move with the directional pad. You move with the left stick. Yes. Now we can reverse our hollowing okay. and be people. We can be people. Uh, Look, there's someone sitting there. <clears throat> Do you think they'd talk to us if we weren't human? I'm not, I, I, I'm well, not totally sure. Revived to human. All right, now we can Aww. leave. What? We're a people I now. I revived. Look, we're a people now. Yeah, if you zoom in, if, well, you can't zoom in. Oh, look at that, now I'm beige. <laughs> people You're, color. You've gotten your complexion back. But a li that little bit of makeup. I was kind of grooving on the whole Hellboy thing, but well, if you die, which believe me, we you will. will. Uh, you yeah. get it back, and we. Oh, right on. Look, there's, there's a, a guy here. Let's talk to the dude. What does he say? Well, what do we have here? Oh, well, uh, uh, oh, well. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, well you're, you're not, not the first. first. But there's no salvation here. Really well, darn, we have to, to, we have to, to make a U-turn. I really thought there'd be salvation, you know, with the late giant now. chickens and everything. <laughs> well, I thought, man, this I must be paradise. I thought that my salvation would come there with giant fat chickens. Two well, my salvation would come with better One's B.O. work, but that church. was just me. The other is far, That's well, a, far below. Pew. In the woods at the base of the blood tower. Bring them both. Well, what about, have you played any games with, like, too much voice acting? Brilliant, right? Not, much uh, to go on. not really, because when I was really actually stopping. seriously playing oh, games, oh, there just wasn't enough room for that. Fair. <laughs> Fair. I think the, <laughs> the game I played that like where I really actually took notice of good voice acting for the first time was Red Dead Redemption. Like it hmm. was good enough for me to like before I had any knowledge of a lot of game like aspects, the voice acting was so good that I actually noticed it. I like those games, um, like the Japanese games, when you play them on English, and like the animation for the mouth keeps moving, but the words <laughs> either have stopped, yes. or the animation for the mouth stops, but they're still talking. I love it. And it's like, wow, that is some quality. We're A plus IGN, 10 out of 10. All right, yeah. Let's find our salvation somewhere. Yes. So um, that guy just said a whole bunch of stuff, and I really don't want to listen to him again. Let's but not. Let's just he said, it. there's no salvation here. You're on the pilgrimage. Well, and <clears throat> that's it. Okay, so if I don't have to talk to him, then I guess I don't have to talk to him. Nope. Nope. Where does the... I can't if punch you hit him right either. on the directional pad. Where's my pad? sword? Hit right on the directional pad, you'll pull it back out. Ah. 
Look at us. There we go. Look, All right. We Excellent. Somewhere. Well, let's go over here and see. No, that's a mural. I see how let's you are. Let's go up through the <clears throat> through the archway. Up okay. the stairs. More, More stairs. step aerobics. <laughs> All Hi, right. welcome to Step Aerobic Simulator 2017. I'll be your host. <laughs> Janine Garofalo? Janine Garofalo. Who <laughs> uh, used the right. words to um, make fun of me so that I would never know. <laughs> Bestow upon me all her wisdom of the Dewey Decimal System. Okay. Uh, yes. um, uh, of course, the Dewey Decimal System. All right. What are we doing here? So I have some <clears> specific <throat> questions for you if, if you think you can manage it while also controlling the controller. If not, I can take over while you talk. That might be a good idea too. <laughs> okay, I can take over. I like I anybody. asked one of your students, I'm really interested to know like what your main focus was when you went to college for media. Oh, um, okay. literary nonfiction actually. Really? Uh, yeah, and th that was where the offbeat Oregon history thing came from. It was like, you know, well, I have to do something. Um, how about this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, same. But but yeah, I mean, that's what my degree is in. But then I've kind of wandered away from it because I've sort of, when I was um, when I was in high school, I was really into some of the old classic pulp things yeah. from the 1930s. Um, and so I've, I've kind of like wandered back to them. It's an awkward place because I I believe all of that old stuff. Okay. You know, it's it's a very kind of like. Um, it's very straightforward, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. a straightforward reflection of popular culture yes. as it is, not as it aspires to be, mm -hmm. which is a really long and convoluted way of saying that that stuff is just sexist AF, super racist, not super racist, but pretty racist. And it's, it's, it's pretty set in its own ways. Awkward, awkwardly yeah. racist. Um, I mean, so I don't know. I mean, I have this like love-hate relationship with it, mm -hmm. but I feel like the worst thing we could do is just shovel a bunch of dirt over it and pretend it didn't happen. Oh, absolutely. I think like learning from the art that, it, <clears throat> learning from the influence of the art of the time is only going to lead us to some more progress in my, friend, in my yeah. opinion. Now, one of, like, I assume that one of your personal favorites is H.P. Lovecraft, oh, considering yes. you have a, like, a published <laughs> anthology that you, oh, yeah. you did yourself of his work. What yeah. drew you to Lovecraft? Well, I came to Lovecraft through Howard, who was, you know, Robert E. Howard, the yeah. guy who wrote the Conan the Barbarian stories. Of course. So they're kind of like the, um, the, them and Clark Ashton Smith are the three musketeers of Weird Tales, which was the strangest kind of ghost, eldritch ghost story yeah. magazine from the pulp era. Um, and I ended up, I ended up getting, I, oh, no. I don't know. Uh oh. Tyler. Things are happening. There are two skeletons and I only do like nine damage to them per swing and it's, oh geez. I think this hmm. game's getting the best of Tyler too. You were saying. Tyler's gonna like get us to some place that I have I'm absolutely dead. nowhere near the skills to get us out of. I don't even think Tyler has oh, the wow, skills to get us out of there. Skills. <laughs> that was some extra tragic. Um, and I disappeared into the side of the stairs. Oh. I am one forever with the step aerobics. Wow. Live, breathe, <laughs> die step aerobics. Richard Simmons. Fun fact. <laughs> Look. Fun side fact here. I I'm took step aerobics in full term, and let me tell you, it was fantastic until I twisted my ankle. Oh. To the point where it was completely black. Those are bad. That's bad things to do. My uh, my advice would be: don't <clears throat> go too hard. So hard that you forget how to step on the step, and then uh, do it halfway, and then just crack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got glass ankles too. Yeah. I, I, I really, I have, I, 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 I and, and since the, they, I got them, I got one of them twisted really badly once, maybe 10 years ago. And ever since then, I'm like, I've kind of like been super sensitive um, mm -hmm. to, you know, to that possibility. And it's like this vicarious, you know, all those like mirror neurons fire when people talk about this stuff. Right? Like my, like, there are times when people will talk about like muscle injuries and I'll just be like, I can feel the muscle damage in my thigh from the horse kick and I'm just like, I'm get, like it gets stiff. <laughs> I've been kicked and stepped on and bit by horses. Mm. It's lovely, it's lovely. Um, what were you saying about the trifecta of our oh, yeah, lovely yeah. creepy fiction? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, they were um, the most popular. They weren't actually, I don't know if they were the most popular. 
Um, there were some other ones too. There was a guy named Seabury Quinn, who I've just kind of started getting interested in, although literarily there's not a whole lot there. Seabury Quinn was a lawyer who augmented his income by writing stories for Weird Tales. Um, and he really <laughs> wrote to market. Yeah. And they were, but they're so over the top. His character, his his um, his hero is is a character named Jules de Grandin, or what I suppose he would pronounce himself Jules de Grandin because he's French, of course. Of course, the most and, the the most sophisticated and, and and pompous we can possibly get. I suppose, but anyway, so he's a he's a surgeon and he's also a um, a, a an occultist, and oh. so when. When ghosts are haunting you and bad things are happening in your life because there's a poltergeist throwing axes at your head or whatever. Oh, of course, uh, a, normal a, things. A ghost snake that bit your dog and it died, then you want Jules de Grandin to help you. Oh, um, obviously. Yeah. Who else would I call? <clears throat> Not Sherlock Holmes? I was going to well, say Ghostbusters. Nancy Drew. Actually, Jules Nancy de Drew is the one to help. I was going to say Ghostbusters. <laughs> Jules, Jules de Grandin seems like he owes a oh, lot to. Uh, um, the ledge. There it is. Oh, there we go. Seems like he owes rather a lot to uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Um, I feel what, like we all owe a lot to Sherlock I, Holmes. Yeah. I owe a lot of like my own, like growing up, I, I read Sherlock Holmes a lot. Um, my personal favorite is uh, Hounds of the Baskervilles. Oh yeah. Yes, my, my personal favorite. What is that? Thing? Oh, it's another, well, skeleton. another skeleton. There's uh, Look it's at some, all it's those. some death waiting for us. But Sherlock Holmes kind of drove home Ooh, where I loved in kind of that, that creepy fiction era, and I, it got me, Sherlock Holmes st gave me the influence to start on Nancy Drew. Ah. Because, you know, growing up, you know, I read all these books about, you know, these cool dudes, and then Nancy Drew came in the, the my, my, my vision, and I was just like, oh no, oh no. Uh, someone like me who's doing the things that Sherlock Holmes is doing, how cool is that? Yeah, we are not about this. No, leave me alone. So tell me a little bit about like, <laughs> no, what, what is that? <laughs> what did you get into? We I, just started, all, we all, all did was all talk about some things. And I, just... I have made a huge mistake. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> that looks like 20 or 30 huge mistakes uh, to me. Uh, well. Here we... hander, got a new weapon. Run, just run. <laughs> I wonder if I can make it back to the bonfire. Uh, no, leave me alone. All right, so it's it's this way. Yes. I know that much. Run, just run. You know, sometimes there's the borb, <laughs> the big bird. The borb. Uh oh. Oh. Tyler. What? What? Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going back to the bonfire. Question mark. Hmm. Uh. Well. If we'd see more narrative of this story, I'd ask you to maybe take a, a, a swag at deconstructing it, but uh, we're just kind of ah, winging it. There we it. go. We're just so kind of winging it. I can tell you that, like, the base. Oh, I made it. Um, the basic premise is that there's some, I want to say, curse going on, and uh, they keep sending these undead. That's what we are. We're an undead. We they are an undead. We. I'm we just, are the collective. Uh, we no. the collective, the undead students mm. of OSU. Yeah, we are the undead, and they keep sending us out on pilgrimages to basically fix it. Ah. That's why that one guy was like, you're not the first. Wow, three humanity. Wow. So for this uh, tired face that is no longer human because I died. Uh-huh. <laughs> but why? To the left, to the left. Hmm. Where are we going? I'm not sure. I'm getting commands from our benevolent overlord there. in my ear. Some more step aerobics. So they're like, to the left, turn around. <laughs> Bring it back now, y'all. <laughs> Two hops this time. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, sure, whatever you say. <laughs> Tell me about some stuff that you've published, Finn. Oh, um, so I, I sort of, I launched this like small publishing label called Pulplet Productions yeah. in 2014 because um, I kind of figured out that although the world of ebook publishing is full of stuff, at me. <laughs> there's not all that much in um, in audiobooks. Yeah. And you know, segueing from podcasting to audiobooks, um, and then I, I also I, I wrote a um, I wrote a book for the History Press called um, Wicked Portland, which is basically um, the uh, you know the the evil oh, underbelly of yes. the 1890s Portland, you know, with Shanghai sailors oh, and stuff. Is. 
Oh, Ooh, that was close. So, um, and then I recorded that, and I was like, well, that was kind of cool. And and um, so, I I had this this thought that I could. Um, okay, let me back up a second. I'm getting distracted yeah. by this this gameplay. So I'm, I'm trying very hard not to die. <laughs> I, I, I'm, a, I'm a heavy audiobook consumer. Yes. So I went on audible.com and I'm like, okay, all of the John Carter of Mars books, they're in the public domain. I should be able to get a, you know, a compendium of the first, like five of them or something yeah. like that. So I go on there and they don't have anything like that. They've got like the, the first book and the second book and the third book and they're all sitting out there with their hands out saying one credit, please. And each credit is like what, 12, 15 bucks. Wow. So I'm like, no, wait a minute. This is an opportunity. Because they're in the public domain, yeah. right? Any idiot can like do whatever they want to with them. Yeah. So, um, I figured out how to, you know, how that all worked, and and uh, published um, with their, you know, Kindle Direct publishing an ebook version of uh, of a uh, the first three yeah. uh, John Carter books, recorded them, put them up, and they did okay. So I'm like, okay, this is my new hobby. <laughs> um, so I've done that with, um, and, and some of these have been successful, and some of them haven't. Um, after John Carter, I did Tarzan. Ooh. Tarzan bombed. Uh, it's literally one of my worst performing titles. Tarzan wow. of the Apes and, and The Return of Tarzan. Almost everybody thinks they know who Tarzan is. He's, he's, and, and they think that he's like Flash Gordon, only dumber and not in space. So, well, I, mean, <laughs> I think it'd be fun to shoot Tarzan in space and see what happens, but that's yeah, just no me. Doubt. So yeah, so that one didn't go very well, but the, then um, the the H.P. Lovecraft one though is my best-selling yes. title. And, um, you have a personal connection to it, of course. Well, yeah, I mean, I was I was really looking forward to, it. and the, the one that I'm working on right now is is all of Robert E. Howard's Conan the Barbarian Ooh. stories that were published during Conan. his life, because those are the ones that the the um, copyright is expired on, right? Right. I can't I can't get access to the other ones. Yeah. So um, so that's what I'm that's what I'm working on now and I'm, I'm really hoping that it will um, nope, bump my income no up student. enough to get me through the summer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when, you, when you teach in college if you don't if you don't have a full schedule teaching in the summertime yeah. there can be income fluctuations. Mm -hmm. No, I heard there was a little bit of talk it. about you trying to go for your masters. Okay. Oh, I had this. I had that scheme. And so, okay, so a little bit of like um, um, inside baseball huh? here. Oh, uh, wow, what that's, did we a, just, that's a big chicken. Nope, we're going back. <laughs> I, uh, I choose life. I choose life. I choose. <laughs> is this where I came from? Oh boy. Well, you, you we are now mm. standing on air. Yes. All right. Perfect. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so. Um, uh, inside baseball, in the Department of New Media Communications, I alone, among full-time uh, professors, yeah. um, have not a terminal degree. Huh. Terminal degree being an MFA or a PhD. Yeah. And so I was thinking, you know, from a standpoint of, um, uh, you know, not not dragging our, our metrics down. Yeah. Um, I should probably rectify that, and I should probably rectify it by doing something interesting that would involve producing stuff. Yeah. So I, um, I applied at um, Portland State University, um, the um, uh, MFA creative writing program. Um, but my focus is so, I mean, what I'm interested in is like genre fiction, mm -hmm. old pulp, that's not what anybody at PSU is really into. Right, they're all into it just like the literary, fit. the literary fiction and deconstruction of themes and an architecture of a narrative, which well, is all nice and I mean, stuff. They're, but they're, they're creating stories of a different style. And, a different and era. So that the, uh, that yeah. They're, yeah, it, it probably, I probably shouldn't have put them in the position of having to point this out to me, Yeah. but I did, so, you know. <laughs> well, you know, trial <laughs> like, and error. Um, yeah. Oh boy, a bonfire. <laughs> oh, look at that. I somehow have survived long enough to make it to the next bonfire. How <laughs> do you? And you know what, the only thing that awaits me is the inevitable dragon, I'm sure. <laughs> There's no way that they're just gonna throw that in front of me and be like, by the way, here's this. You never have to fight it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's coming and I am. I imagine we're probably gonna have to fight the big chicken. Check but off, check off up. gun, I we're guess. We're gonna do vitality oh, yeah. and endurance. I would think that you would you would want to up your aviation um, or your your flying abilities. <laughs> aviation. <laughs> You're right. I'm that's probably some, in faith. What, one second here. I'm gonna grow some wings and then we'll come back. <laughs> that's that's probably in faith. Yes. Right, uh, if I am faithful enough, I will grow a set of wings. 
I don't think. Oh no, no. Mm. This one. So there must be another way to go. So are you still looking to rectify the absence <clears throat> of the the masters? The well, terminal. maybe next year. But I have to find a program that I'd actually fit in. That oh, you no. can the kind only of, other oh, alternative. No. I yeah. I mean, there's there's the program here, but that would be a little weird. Yeah. Right, so I'm. Yeah, hi. I'm. I'm. I'm a an I'm instructor, already, and I also here. am a graduate student. No, I, I. don't know. I would rather, kind of, rather not outsource it. Change that yeah. relationship that way. Um, that leaves the University of Oregon. True. Um, I already have two degrees from there. Um, I don't know if I want to go for three. <laughs> <laughs> so what are like? You are obviously a, a student of media. What are your two degrees like specifically titled? Oh, the first one is from 1991, and it's in English literature. I mean, so, of course. Yeah, um, and then the second one is from 2010, and it's in literary nonfiction. Hmm. And, and it's not a particular inclination to like you know go back to the University of Oregon. It was just where the program was that looked like it would fit me best. I find it, I find it interesting that you're you are more most specifically of a written media other than like like the focus of the narrative and the oh, writing aspect of it. You. How'd you wind yeah. up in the new media department and not the writing department? Oh well um <clears throat> the uh, I guess it was kind of an accident but um, the best kind of accident. Oh, no. Yeah no it, well, well game over. Oh wow that was exciting. Um no, Pam Citronbaum got a, got her dream job, um, and Pam Citronbaum was the uh, the person who the, the the professor who was teaching um, New Media 301 writing for the media. Yeah. And uh, so she she got her dream job with like a week's notice or something like wow. that at Northwestern University, back home in Chicago. And she's like, "Oh, bye guys." Bye, I'm out, bye. So Jeff Hale um, was went, went into like desperate activate the network mode. Mm -hmm. Um, got hold of Rob Preve, who had been my boss at um, the Gazette Times, and Rob said, "Well, uh, Finn just graduated. Maybe he could teach a media writing class." <laughs> and so that that's that's how I ended up there. The first term I was I was teaching NMC 301. Um, I would like to speak directly to the camera, if I might. If any of you guys took New Media Communications 301 from me, uh, spring term 2010. No, I'm sorry, fall term 2010. I'm very sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sure you my, were wonderful. My heartfelt apology. No, I'm serious. There I, are I, more I, stories in that one connotation than I think <laughs> we have time for today. But um, yeah. thank you so much for coming. And I, this was really great for me. As like I, I'd like to call myself one of your biggest fan yeah, students. Right. Honestly, I love what you study. I love what you teach. How what? How do you enjoy uh, uh, re revisiting Dungeons of Daggera? I'm getting my head to be back in the right shape again because it was getting swelled up there. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's all of the time we have today. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. But come Thanks back for next having week. me. Yeah. I'd love. I'd, I'll have your mustache any day. Uh, but come back next week for an all-new game uh, and I'm an all-new guest. Right now. <laughs> Don't forget to like Split Screen on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for more exclusive content, news updates, and to sign up for Smash the Dam, our own Smash Bros. Melee tournament, which will be live and held on May 21st. Remember, signups are live, and you can find them through the event on our Facebook page. Uh, see you next time, Split Screeners. Thank you so much, and remember, it's, it's always, always better, better to, to game, game together. together. Thanks.